Hey family, this is your girl Ebony. We're so glad you decided to join us in worship today. Go ahead and like and share this broadcast. We're going to get service started in just a few moments. We are so excited about what God is going to do in the lives of his people. Go ahead and like and share. We're about to start in five minutes. That's right, we're five minutes away. We'll see you in a few moments. Hey guys, this is Brother Ty here. Listen, we are just four minutes away from starting service. Can you believe that? I want you to like, share, send this to your brother, your auntie, your uncle. Send it to Facebook, Twitter, Instagram. Send it everywhere. You don't know who you will bless from this live stream. Also, I want you to sow. You can text GIVE to 833-502-0408. You don't know what's going to happen during service today. You don't know whether we're going to make it to offering or not. So sow now. So right now now there's a blessing in sowing especially when you're a cheerful giver all right i gotta go i'll see you later god bless you Hey family, listen, this space here is going to be dedicated to our sponsors, those who decide to partner with us as a way of a sponsorship. If you have a business, a small business, and you would like to get the word out, and you would like to go ahead and uh, use our platform, certainly feel free to inbox us now for sponsorship opportunities, and we'll be glad to connect with you. This month's partnership is going to be coming from Charlie's Cookies and Tea. You can locate them at www charliect.com and when you go to make a purchase you can utilize the discount code TOLR10 to get two dollars off for your each dozen cookies you purchase thank you so very much you have a good day see you in service That his name is Jesus. His name is Jesus. Some know him as a provider. Some know him as a sustainer. Some know him as a protector. Some know him as a keeper. Some know him as their peace. In the name of Jesus. Do you know him? Do you know him? Do you know him? Hey family, this is Charles Simmons here, the senior pastor here at the Temple of Ladder Rain. I just came to let you know we're in the last few moments just before service get ready to get started. I want to invite you and your family to stay during the entirety of our service. You never know how God is going to move and what he is going to do. So make sure you stick around and stay tuned to what God has in store for us on today. As you're here today, if you do not have a church home, we want to invite you to join our wonderful church family here at the Temple of Ladder Rain. You can certainly just text JOIN to the number that's on the bottom of your screen. Just JOIN to the number on the bottom your screen that is 833-502-0408 and for those of you who do have a church home but would like to stay connected with us and everything that we have going on because we know that you're so faithful in tuning in we have created a new program specifically just for you that is called our partnership program so just text partner to the number on the bottom of your screen as well and we'll certainly be connecting with you in jesus name listen we love you and let's get ready to have some church on today in jesus name see you in just a moment
the Lord, praise the Lord, praise the Lord. Temple of Latin Rain, we're so glad to have you in Jesus' name. We're looking forward to amazing worship time on today in the name of the Lord. So as you're here, saints of God, do me a favor. Make sure you go ahead and you hit that like and that share button in Jesus' name. As we get ready to go into the furtherance of our service, in the name of the Lord, you already know, we open up today with our anthem in Jesus' name. So if you don't mind, do me a favor, put those hands together right where you are in the name of the Lord. And let's get ready to praise God in this place. Come on. Psalm simply says, God is good. God is good. God is good to me. How can I let him down? How can I let him down? How can I let him down? He's so good to me. Come on, help me say. Yeah. 
Come on, give those hands together and give God praise in this place. Even where really you are right now in the name of the Lord, He deserves the glory. He deserves the praise. He deserves the honor. Can we lift Him up in this place today? Can we lift Him up in this place today? Hallelujah! Woo! We give Him glory. We give Him glory. We give Him glory. We give Him glory. We give them glory, we give them glory. Yeah! Hallelujah. Oh, God, we love you. Hallelujah. This time we're going to ask our sister Ebony Dorsey to give us our morning prayer in Jesus' name. Father God, in the name of Jesus, oh God, we just say thank you, oh God. We just say thank you, oh God. We just say thank you, oh God. Thank you for waking us up this morning, oh God. Thank you for covering us through our last night's sleep, oh God. Thank you, Lord God, that we were able to open our eyes, oh God. Put one foot in front of the other. We had gas in our car to get here. And we thank you, oh God, that you did not count in robbery to count us out in the name of Jesus. We just say thank you on oh, today, oh God, because you're mighty, because you're wonderful. Hallelujah, Jesus. We just say thank you. Have your way in this service, oh God. Hallelujah, Jesus, because we know that no weapon, no weapon formed against us shall prosper. The devil is defeated. God is exalted, and we have the victory on today. Oh God, have your way. Touch the preacher of the hour. Touch your people at home, oh God. And people who will later watch this broadcast. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen and amen. Oh hallelujah. Saints of God, we're just so excited to be in the house of the Lord on today. In Jesus' name. Anybody else glad to be here this afternoon? I said it. Is anybody else glad to be here today? In the name of Jesus. Come on, let's take a moment and give him the glory. Give him the glory. Give him the glory. He deserves the glory. He deserves the honor. He deserves the praise. Yeah! Oh, Jesus, we love you tonight. We love you. We love you. We love you. God, we love you. We love you. We love you. Hallelujah. It's another day's journey that the Lord has left and kept us. Whereof we are glad today. I'm so glad. That he kept us again through dangers seen and unseen. Our God has kept us. And we are here today to give him praise and glory. 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 Praise and glory. Ah! Oh, Jesus. Lord, oh, we love you. We love you. We love you. God, that's why we came today to praise his holy and righteous name. So we came out today in the name of the Lord. We're going to go right into our praise and worship on the day in Jesus' name. We're going to start off with this very simple song that just simply says, enter his gates with thanksgiving. I don't know about you on the day, but if you don't mind, come on, stand up on your feet in the name of the Lord and just write enter his gates in the name of the Lord in the comment section.
Aleluya, 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 Say. Oh, 
Hey, y'all, come on, say. I never shall. I never shall forget. One more time, say. I never shall. I never shall forget. Oh, Lord knows I never shall forget. I never shall forget. Here we go higher right here. Say, I never shall. I never shall forget. Come on, say right here. I never shall. I never shall forget. Come on, say it again. I never shall. I never shall forget. Oh, Lord knows I've been so good to me. I never shall forget. Here we go higher right here. Oh, I never shall. I never shall forget. Oh, Lord knows you've been so good. You've been so kind. I never shall forget. You've been blessing me over and over and over and over again. I never shall forget. The fact that I'm still here today is a testimony I never shall. I never shall forget. Here we go higher here. Oh, I never shall. I never shall forget. Through the many dangers, tolls and struggles, I'm I never shall forget. He has brought me safe this far. I never shall. I never shall forget. In spite of what I'm going through, in spite of what I do with now, I never shall forget. Here we go. right there by your side. He's right there. 
keeping you. He's right there sustaining you. He's right there, right there, right there. Can we pray for him? The beer right there. Yeah! I never shall, I never shall, I never shall forget. Woo! Can we just take 60 seconds? I think we got 60 seconds. Go ahead, go ahead and give him the glory. In the name of the Lord. Yeah! you I never shall forget what he's done for me and right here is a good time to get ready to take up a quick offering in the name of the Lord listen we're going to go right back to that great singing and we're going to get right back to the word of God in a few moments and I'm not sure if you can tell but I feel right preachy today but saints of God as we're here this is a good time to sow a seed in the name of the Lord saints of God if you're here amen our sister Dorsey Amen. We, amen. You know what? Y'all hold y'all altar to later on in Jesus' name. Amen. But I come to let you know if you're watching on your Facebook, amen, whether or not on my way on YLC, saints of God, do me a favor and go ahead and sow your seed in the name of the Lord. But you know what? You better go out on the head and help yourself and praise Him even now. Pray! Woo! Praise Him!
glory, 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 glory. Glory, glory, glory. today hallelujah I don't know about you saints of God amen but I praise God for what the Lord has been doing for us here at the temple of latter rain amen if you want to join in on this blessing if you want to join in in this praise if you want to join in with what God is doing right here this is a good time to sow a seed in the name of the Lord you see the giving instructions on the bottom we are a church that loves God a church that loves God people and a church that believes in praising him and honoring him Hear the name of the Lord. So saints of God, why don't you take a moment and honor him with your substance even right now. I don't know about you on today, but I'm so thankful for the opportunity to sow on today in Jesus' name. Some of us have already given our tithes and our offering. Amen. But I want to challenge you on today in the name of the Lord. Amen. To step out on faith. Hear the name of the Lord and begin to just give God something on today in Jesus' name. Maybe your seed is 20. Maybe your seed is 50. Maybe you're expecting God for a big miracle and a big blessing. And you say, I need to sow 100, 200, 300 dollars today because I need God to move right now. I come to let you know that God has the ability to turn little into much when you put it into his hands. So many people have been doing and blessing the civil ladder rain and sowing seed into this good ground. And I come to let you know today that as they sow, they started to see things grow. Can I say it again? As they sow, they saw things grow. God is the kind of God that will bless you and be there for you in the name of the Lord. So why don't you honor him with your substance and he gives seed to the sower. So as you sow even right now, God has the ability to pour back into you exactly what you need. In the name of the Lord, and we praise God for it right now. Hallelujah. Jesus, as you're giving, go ahead and give with the praise. He loves a cheerful giver. Hallelujah. He loves a cheerful giver. And we thank and praise God for each and every one of you who have sold today. We praise and thank God for each and every one of you who have been a blessing in the name of the Lord. Amen. As you are sowing, saints of God, amen. I want you to do me a favor. And as you have shared, if you have shared this video today, I want you to do me a favor and write your cash app name in the comment section right now. Because as you type in your cash app, there's going to be somebody that's going to receive a $25 cash app from me today in Jesus' name. But the thing is, you have to make sure you share and write in the comment section your cash app in Jesus' name. Hallelujah, Jesus. After you've done so, I mean, look out for I mean, a $25 seed from us here in Jesus' name. Whether you're watching right here on Sunday afternoon or even by way of YLC, I'm in the comment section. I'm taking a look to see who's here and who's shared and who's writing in their cash app. I'm going to bless somebody. Amen. With, a, amen, with a $25 seed in Jesus' name. I hear you say you shared. I know that's right. Hallelujah, Jesus. So make sure you write your cash app in the name of the Lord so we can be a blessing with a $25 seed in Jesus' name. But we thank you so much for sowing into the Temple of Latter Rain on today. At this time, we're going to move on with our service, and we're going to have our brother Tahit Scurry to come. And he's going to give us today's, he's going to give us today's announcements in Jesus' name. Jesus. Amen. Glory to God. Welcome to the temple of Ayadaman Soul. Welcome to the temple of Lateran. Hallelujah, Jesus. Ayadaman Soul. Hallelujah, Jesus. Amen, musicians. Amen, amen, amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Welcome to the Temple of Love. Well. Well, if we gonna do it, we gonna do it right. 
seconds to get what you need from God. I'm going to give y'all 30 seconds. Come on, one, two, one, two, one, two, three, God. Join us in worship today. Amen. Amen. Our mission is to encourage, empower, and uplift. Our vision is to create a family culture where we develop servant leaders that become mature disciples of Christ. Here at the Temple of Lateran, we plant, we build, and we spring forth. Glory to God. Glory, glory. Amen. The theme for the month of January is you better preach. All teaching and preaching will be revolving around the subject you better preach. Amen. We welcome you to invite your family and friends to come and join us during any of our worship services and events. Sunday afternoons at 1.30 p.m. we will have our Sunday worship experience. And on Tuesday evenings at 7.30, we will have our midweek experience. Amen, amen, amen. Amen, amen. amen. As many of you know, we are celebrating three years of ministry here at the Temple of Lateran. We are celebrating three years of ministry here at the Temple of Lateran. Amen. Amen, amen, amen. To stay connected with us and for more information on the exciting upcoming events here at the Temple of Lateran, follow us on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and don't forget to check out our website at templeoflateran.com. And now, without further ado, I place things back into the hands of our senior pastor, C.E. Simmons. Hallelujah. Saints of God, I don't know about you, man, but it feels right churchy in this place today. I'm trying to hold myself together, but I know I'm going to try to preach in a few moments. But it just feels right churchy today. All right, all right, all right. Go ahead, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. You might as well. We got time today. Oh, Hallelujah, Jesus. And I'm so thankful for what God 
God has done and what God is doing even right now. Amen. Do me a favor, just let somebody know the Spirit of God is here. Go ahead and just lean over and just tell somebody. Write it in the comment section real quick. If you feel it right where you are in your home, just testify. Go ahead in the comment section and just let somebody know the Spirit of God is here. And I feel it moving even right now. In Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Saints of God, as we are here today, we're going to get ready to move right along. Hear the name of the Lord simply because of the fact that we want to make sure that you hear the word of the Lord. There is a word today. And you do not want to miss this in Jesus' name. And with that being said, we're going to bring our praise team right back. And as they come back with this final selection, talking about safety. Saints of God, they're going to come and they're going to talk a little bit about safety in their by way of song. And then we're going to come right back with the word of the Lord. If you have not shared yet, make sure you hit that share button now, now. Share now, share now. You do not want to miss this at all in Jesus' name. Truly the Lord is great and greatly to be praised. Amen. With that being said, praise team in Jesus' name.
Hallelujah. Come on and do me a favor. Lift up those hands all over this room. And can we just worship the Lord for being safe today? If you've ever been in a place where you didn't feel protected, if you've ever been in a place where you felt vulnerable, if you've ever been in a place where you did not feel safe and secure, you cannot praise God for being safe. But when you know you're safe, when you know that you know that there's safety in Jesus, you can praise Him right here. You can lift up holy hands. You can bless this holy name for being safe, for being safe, for being safe, for being safe, for being protected, for being secure, for being guarded. There's nothing can harm you, nothing can hurt you, nothing can get to you. Why? Because you're safe. So glad to be safe today. Oh, safe. Oh, I'm safe. I'm safe. I'm safe. I'm safe in his arms. That's why I'm safe. That's why I'm safe. That's why I'm safe. fool that today. I'm not going to do it. Taste of God. But that's why I'm safe. That's why I'm safe. That's why I'm safe. I'm safe. In his arms. I said I'm safe in his arms today. I said I'm safe in the arms today. God is yet keeping me right now. And I'm safe in his arms today. I'm safe and secure. I'm bleeding and protected. Jesus has me covered. Yes. Hallelujah. I thank God for being safe. I thank God for being safe. I thank God for being safe. Father, we say thank you for your grace, your kindness, and your mercy. God, we take this morning, we tell you thank you for being safe. In the midst of everything that's been going on in our life, God, we praise your name for the ability to be safe in your arms. Lord, we love you. We praise you and we adore you. We magnify you, God, and we definitely lift you up. God, we recognize today there's no one above you, no one like you. And we praise your holy and righteous name today. Thank you, Jesus. God, as we get ready to go into this, your word, I pray right now for preaching power. Yes. In the midst of everything that's going on right now, touch this mortal body right now. We rebuke tiredness and nervousness right now in Jesus' name. Any attack that the devil has said, I bind it up and I cast it out in the name of the Lord Jesus. Lord, allow your word to come forth with power, clarity, and understanding, and authority. As only we know you can give. These are no blessed we ask you in the name of the Lord Jesus. And the people of God said amen. 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 You may be seated in the name of the Lord. And we yet give God praise and glory even right now. It feels so good to see so many of you amen, with us on today in Jesus' name. Amen. Don't it feel good to be back in the house of the Lord one more time? Hallelujah. It feels good to be back in his house yet again in Jesus' name. Amen. There are certainly so many things going on, so many different things happening, but God still deserves the praise. And he still deserves the honor. And I came out today to give it to him. I come to let you know even right now that even before we dive into our text, you can give me something soft right there in the name of the Lord. 
Amen. I done hollered most of my preaching time a few moments ago, so we ain't going to be long today. Is that all right? Hallelujah, Jesus. As we go into the word of the Lord today, we're going to find our attention in the book of Psalms. The 100th Psalm. And we're going to simply take a look at verses number one and two. Very familiar passage of scripture. And I don't intend on being long. We're in the middle of the sermon series, or at the close, rather, of the sermon series simply entitled, You Better Preach. The first Sunday we talked about how we have to paint the picture. That's a, the starting point of a good preaching message. And we equated all of these things to how you do this in your life. You paint the picture. Then you prove what it is you're trying to paint. And after you prove your point, you close out with making sure that you persuade them to now accept what it is that you're trying to get them to understand. Today, saints of God, we're going to talk about the last portion of building a good message and utilizing our life as a consistent sermon. After we've taken the time to paint, after we've taken the time to prove, after we've taken the time to persuade, today, saints of God, we're going to take a few moments and we're going to talk about the ability to celebrate. In the book of Psalms, Psalm 100, verses number 1 and verse number 2, it simply reads, Make a joyful noise unto the Lord. All ye lands, serve the Lord with gladness. Come before his presence with singing. I'm going to read that one more time. Make a joyful noise unto the Lord, all ye lands. Serve the Lord with gladness. Come before his presence with singing. If I can highlight just for my own consideration the first A clause of verse number two. The A clause of verse number two simply says, serve the Lord with gladness. Lead over and just tap somebody and say, serve him with gladness. Write it in the comment section, serve him with gladness. If I can use for a subject matter this afternoon, and don't try to chop my head off today, y'all, but I got to give it to you the way that the Lord gave it to me. I want to use for a subject afternoon, on this afternoon, simply turn down for what? Turn down for what? If you're in the sanctuary, do me a favor, just lean over and just tell somebody, say, neighbor, turn down for what? If you're watching by way of the, uh, 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 watching by way of Facebook or YLCTV, do me a favor, just write that in the comment section real quick. Turn down for what? Turn down for what? If you're here in the sanctuary, find one more good neighbor and highlight them. Say, neighbor, oh neighbor, turn down for what? Saints of God, I come to let you know right here that after you have, when you're looking at a good message and you're hearing. A, a good preaching message that, and, and they've done a good job of painting. They've done their good job of painting. They have now painted the picture good. And you can almost visualize yourself in the text. After they have painted good, you brought yourself to a situation where they have now amen, highlighted a point and they've proven what it is that they're trying to get you to understand. After they have now proven their point, now they've gotten to a position to where they have now persuaded you to agree with them and whatever it is they're trying to get you to understand. Saints of God, I come to let you know that for a lot of us, the highlight of the message isn't the beginning. For a lot of us, the highlight of a good message isn't always the middle but for some of us, truth be told, the highlight of a good message is always the sermon close. I come to let you know, saints of God, that as a little boy when I was younger, 
I've been saved since I was eight years old, and, and, and I went to church consistently with my grandmother, and as I was going back and forth to church, amen, as a little boy, amen, I fell in love with Jesus, and then I got a little older, and I recognized that in our tradition, the way, amen, we preached when I was coming up, amen, in the church in which I attended, amen, a good sermon always ended with somebody taking a good hoop and hollering good in a good key. And they made sure they celebrated the message. They made sure that they came and brought forth a level of energy and brought forth a what put them in a position to where you were able to celebrate whatever, hallelujah, the thing was that they were trying to teach and preach at that point. I don't know about you, saints of God, but even as I was younger, amen, I would go through YouTube when YouTube first got famous, and I would sit there, and I would pull up a message. I would pull up Bishop G.E. Patterson, and pull up Bishop Rudolph McKissick, and pull up, amen, all these other great preachers, amen, from here and there, and I would listen to the message, but every now and then it would get so good, and I didn't have the time to really get in there like I want to I was forward to the end why because I wanted to hear the celebration I wanted to hear how they were going to pull this thing together and be able to inspire me and rejuvenate me and pour into me in a way that would get me energetic and ready to act out what was necessary Say so God, I come to let you know that the servant clothes is so popular because it seems as though it's the most energetic portion. It's the most theatrical, for lack of better terms, portion. It seems as though it is the most engaging portion, especially when you grow up in my kind of tradition where you find yourself in a position to where, amen, the preachers start tuning good. How the organ gets to going and the bass gets to going and the keyboard joins them and then the whole band, the drums, is just hitting on key. And it just sounds so good. It sounds so great. Sounds so wonderful. But saints of God, for the same way that we do this in a natural, natural message a lot of us had to learn how to do this by way of our life I want to help somebody on the day because the truth of the matter is some of us have an issue and the issue that some of us has is that we get saved and we forget how to celebrate we give our life to the Lord and next thing you know, saints of God, we decide we want to get quiet and we want to get cute. We want to get sedity. We want to get bad and bougie and all sit down and look cute. Hey man, we want to make sure our face is beat and everything is snatched and we don't want to mess nothing up when we come to the house of the Lord. But saints of God, I come to let you know when you look back over your own life and you begin to think about where God has brought you from, that should allow you to get to the place to where you can lift up holy hands hands and open up your mouth and give God praise and give him glory and celebrate the name of our God. I come to let you know today, saints of God, that just because you get saved don't mean you need to learn how to get quiet. Just because you get saved does not mean you need to then lose all of your joy. Just because you get saved, it don't mean you need to lose him and your, well, your ability to get happy or, as they say nowadays, get hype in the midst of everything that's going on. Saints of God, I come to let you know as I get ready to hurry to my seat in the next few moments. Saints of God, we need to turn. We got to stop turning everything into what it is that we can't do and learn how to enjoy life the way God wants us to. Can I say it again? We got to stop turning everything into what it is that we can't do and start enjoying life as God has created us to. I don't know about you on today, saints of God, but in this Christian life, I don't want to see somebody walking around claiming they saved and they look sad, mashy, and mad all the time. I don't want to. I don't. I don't want to come to church. Hey Amen. If everybody inside of the house of the Lord, hey Amen, looked like they've been sucking on lemons all day. Face all turned up looking all extra bitter and mad and just nasty and mean for no reason. No, that's not the kind of God we serve. The kind of God we serve has a life for a lot of things in order to allow us to be able to have ourselves a good time, to be able to live a good life. He came so that we might have life and we may have life. Oh, we got some Bible readers, some Bible readers in here so we can have life more abundantly. Saints of God, don't you know we got to get to a place till we learn how to celebrate and serve the Lord with gladness. Lead over, just tell somebody, serve the Lord with gladness. 
Lean over to somebody else. Serve the Lord with gladness. Right in the comment section, real quick, saints of God, I come to let you know right here that as we get ready to move forward, I want to go into our text very quickly. Saints of God, the Bible lets us to know right here in Psalm 100, this is a celebratory psalm. This is a happy psalm. This is a, a psalm of praise and thanksgiving. This is a psalm where people come and they look at this and they get excited, they get amped, they get hyped because it's talking about praising God and serving God in a good and a happy way. Saints of God, the writer of this particular psalm, he opens up by just simply saying, make a joyful noise. Is there anybody in here that knows how to make a good joyful noise? Unto the Lord. And it doesn't always mean singing. But the Lord loves to just hear you holler. He loves every now and then just to hear you yell. He loves every now and then to hear your hand clap. And hear the pitter pat of your feet as you praise him. And as you worship him. Make a joyful noise unto the Lord. I come to let you know on today. He wants you to celebrate. And to be excited about what he's doing. He wants you to live a life of celebration. Live a life of excitement. Live a life to where you can give him praise and glory in everything and everywhere that you go and do. I come to let you know today that he wants you to celebrate him. He wants you to make a party big. Turn down for what? I come to let you know, saints of God, that as we hear on the day not only the verse that it begins to say, make a joyful noise unto the Lord. But I like the way that this particular clause ends because it doesn't just say make a joyful noise as if it's speaking just to one individual. He doesn't say this to just one individual person. But the Bible reads here, make a joyful noise unto the Lord, all ye land. Well, simply let's be to know that he wants us to do this together. He wants us to get to a place so we can do this one with another he wants us to get to a place where we can go ahead and celebrate the king of kings and the lord of lords one with another shall we say amen i come to let you know on today turn down for what the same way you used to come together and watch the super bowl and get loud with the super bowl the same way you used to come together and party and drink and do all this other great stuff and get loud and get turned in the name of the lord amen it's the same way he wants us to do when it comes down to coming into the house of the Lord when we get ready to go to our jobs when we get ready to go out to wherever it is we go I come to let you know today, saints of God, he doesn't want us to get quiet. He doesn't want us to be sad, ashy, and mad. But it's time now to celebrate the King of Kings. Celebrate the Lord of Lords. Celebrate him. And I come to let you know it's better when we do it together. I mean, lean over and tell somebody and write it in the comment section real quick. It's better when we do it together. I come to let you know today, saints of God, hallelujah, he said, make a joyful noise unto the Lord, all ye lands. Hallelujah, and I come to like this next part, and I'm going to try to hurry this part along here. But this next part simply says, serve the Lord with gladness. Could I break this down for a moment? Serve the Lord with gladness. Another interpretation simply reads, worship the Lord. Serve him, worship him, serve him, worship him. But it doesn't want you to do it with a sour attitude. He don't want you to serve him and worship him salty. He don't want you to serve him and worship him being bitter. He doesn't want you to come and try to worship and serve him being all kind of upset and no good to nobody. But the Bible lets us to know that he wants you to serve him and worship him with gladness. The truth of the matter is the writer here had to write this down because he knew that some of us in today's day and time were going to make Jesus, serving Jesus seem like too much of a chore or a burden. Amen. Too many of us out here, amen, are in a place to where we're making serving Jesus out to be. Amen. Like it's a whole big to do, like it's entirely too much saints of God. But I come today to let you know when you really love the King of Kings.
When you really love the Lord, when you love the God that you serve, it's not a chore, it's not a burden, it's not something extra, but it's something that you are honored to do. It's something that you have the privilege to do. It's something you get the opportunity to do. It's something you are glad to do. That's why you serve him with gladness. Saints of God, I want to let you know today, right here, saints of God, that right here, you need to make sure that you serve him with gladness. Enjoy what it is that you do. And enjoy why you do it. Can I get a witness here that knows that you need to enjoy what it is that you're doing and why it is that you do it. Serve the Lord with gladness. Hallelujah, Jesus. And I'm so glad today that he gives me the opportunity to come before his presence with singing. Well, simply lets me know that he likes to hear my voice. He likes to hear me when I call him. He likes to hear me when I lift him up. Can we say amen? You need to understand today that as you serve him, do it with gladness. As you serve him, be prepared to lift him up. As you serve him, enjoy what you do. And enjoy while you do it. Hallelujah, Jesus. I could have let you know that praise and worship is a lifestyle. It's not just something you do when you come to the house of God. It's not just something you do when the praise team is up here singing your favorite song. But praise and worship is something you do when you leave these doors. Praise and worship is something you do in the midst of your life praise and worship is something you do when you're walking down the street driving along in your car sitting at your desk at work yeah yes praise and worship is not just blessed quietness it's not just coming and looking around and watching everybody else give them praise and glory praise and worship when you're celebrating it's something you have to participate in and not something you spectate. Lean over and tell somebody, say, neighbor, it's better to participate than to just spectate. Lean over and tell them again, it's better to participate than just to spectate. And I come to let you know that God, he's been too good to me. He's been so great to me. As I look back over my life and I begin to think about all of the ways he's made, all of the doors he's opened, all of the things he's done, I can't help but to give him glory. I can't help but to lift his name. I can't help but to bless him and to give him praise. Can we go higher? I come to let you know that I will not be I will always worship him. I will serve him with gladness. I will come before his presence. We're singing. Why? Why? Because I know that the Lord he is good and his mercy endureth forever. So when I think about what he's done, when I think about where he brought me from when I think about everything that God has done for me I will not I cannot keep my mouth shut I cannot sit down like God ain't done something for me but I oh I will oh yes I will I will celebrate the king I will lift him up I will give him glory I will praise his name I will tell him thank you in the morning tell him thank you in the noonday tell him thank you he's been that good he's been that kind say yes say yes Yes, can we take 10 seconds and pray? Yeah, hallelujah.
saints of God, can we go high up? I got to let you know, when I think of the goodness of Jesus and all that he's done for me, my soul cries out, my hands uplifted, my mouth begins to open, and my feet, they get light, yes, he's been so good, he's been so kind, he's been so awesome, he's been so amazing, when I think about who I was, when I think about where I was, when I think about what I used to do, when I think of where I came from, when I think of what he delivered me from, I come to let you know that he, 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 he deserves it. He deserves all of the glory. He deserves all of the praise. He deserves all of the honor. He deserves to be magnified. He deserves to be lifted up. He deserves the praise and the glory. Praise! Hallelujah. Is there anybody here? Is there anybody here that understands that right about now it's not time to get quiet? Yes. It's not time to shut up. It's not time to calm down. But can I tell you right here, right now, it's a good time to pump up the volume. Pump up the praise. Pump up the worship. Turn down the for what? I'm a pump, 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 pump it up. Pump up the praise. Pump up the worship. Pump up the music. Pump up the bass. Pump up the dance. Pump up the glory. Pump up the hallelujah. Because he, because he, because he, he deserves it every time I turn around. He's doing great things for me every time I turn around. He's making great ways for me every time I turn around. He's doing things for me. So I will bless the Lord at all, at all times. And his praise, it shall, it shall. It shall, it shall continually when I feel good, continually when I feel bad, continually when I'm hurting, continually when I'm down, continually turn down for what? Can we just take the next 60 seconds and give him praise? I want to do me a favor. Get in your mind what God has done for you, where God has brought you from, where God is bringing you to. And give him glory, give him praise, give him honor, bless his name. Ah! Go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. Turn down for what? Ooh, yeah. Go ahead, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. 
ahead, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. Praise him. Stay right there. Don't go nowhere. Stay right where you at. Saints of God, I don't know how many of you know, but the Temple of Latter Rain lost its first member this week due to death. Sister Anisha, 24 years old, from Pennsylvania, went to home to be with the Lord the other day. And I come to let you know she was a faithful member here, consistently liking, consistently sharing, always present. Always inboxing and checking on me, checking on the saints. And I come to let you know, I found out saints of God. She loved praising and worshiping God. So saints of God right here, can we do me a favor? And can we all do something together? This is our first moment that's going home to be with the Lord. Can we all just take the next 60 seconds and make sure we lift up the praise for her right now? In the name of the Lord, right where you are, come out here. Pray!
saints of God. We're going to get ready to let you go in just a few good moments. But as you're here, if you are not saved, this right here is not the time to get quiet. It's not the time to go ahead and hush your mouth nowhere. If you do not know the Lord as your personal Savior, if you're in the building, come on and make your way down to this altar. And God can save you right now. If you're watching my way of Facebook, if you need salvation, write in the comment section real quick. Hashtag God save me. Hashtag God save me. And somebody from our ministry will reach out to you and walk you through the steps of salvation. Hear the name of the Lord. But if you know you need salvation, don't turn down, don't turn, don't turn, turn down for what? This is a good time to give him your life. A good time to bless his name with your life. In the name of the Lord Jesus. He didn't turn down for you. So don't you turn down for him. Hallelujah, Jesus. And I come to let you know right now, I don't care what nobody says. Living saved is the best life you could ever live. I don't care how much drinking and smoking and clubbing and whatever else the world may try to offer you. There's no life like saved life. There's no life like consecrated life. There's no life like a holy life. Being able to know that Jesus is right there with you every step. There's no life like that. Hashtag God save me even now. Hear the name of the Lord Jesus. And if you're already saved and you say, you know what, I want to become a member of this great church, you could do me a favor and just type in join and text the word join to 833-502-0408. You should see the number on the bottom of your screen even now. Text the word join to 833-502-0408. And we will receive you here as a member of the church in the name of the Lord. I want to let you know even right now, saints of God, hallelujah, this is a blessed church. This is a blessed house. This is a blessed place to be in. If you want to receive the blessings of God, this is a good place to be. We will walk you through being able to be received in our church family. Just text that word JOIN to 833-502-0408. Hear the name of the Lord. I come to let you know right here, saints of God, we love you, we're praying for you. And just before we leave, I want to make sure we take a moment and I don't want to go anywhere without letting you sow into this ministry one more time. This is a good place to sow right here. Don't turn down even when it comes down to your giving. This is a good time to give them praise by way of your substance. We're going to try to get one more dance before we leave here today. For sake of God, don't even turn down in your giving. Because I promise you, when you turn up in your giving, God turns up in his giving. And I come to let you know you can't be God giving. Whatever you give to God, God has the ability to multiply and give it back to you. Holly oppressed down, shaking together and run over. Well, he calls men to give it to your bosom. If you don't believe me, just ask me. Ask somebody that's in the member of this church. When you give it to God, he will give right back to you in Jesus' name. So saints of God, as you're giving today, we love you. We praise God for you, and we thank you for tuning in. Make sure you like and share in the name of the Lord. But as we're here today, saints of God, we're going to get ready to let you go. But we're going to leave out here with a praise in just a moment. Let us all pray real quick. Father, we say thank you for your grace, your kindness, and your mercy, allowing us an opportunity to be in your house just one more time. I pray that now, oh God, that as we get ready to leave from this place, but certainly never from your presence, that you will keep us, you will guide us, you will keep us covered and under your blood. I pray that you will touch everybody that's sowing. I pray you touch everybody that's joining. I pray that you touch everybody that's connecting with us. I pray that you even touch those that are giving their life to God. Those who are in this building and those watching in our cyber sanctuary. God, we say thank you for them even right now. Touch them even right now in the name of the Lord. Keep our bodies healed. Keep us covered under your blood. Help us, keep us, and guide us, and bring us back to the appointed time. And God, we tell you thank you. We tell you thank you. 
we tell you thank you and we give you glory right now in Jesus name and the people of God said amen amen and amen come on and praise him Woo. oh God hold on one second Saints of God, I want to let you know real quick. One of our praise team members, hold on, stay right there, stay right there. Saints of God, one of our praise team members, and if she has not been able to be here because she is on bed rest and she's due to deliver a baby within the next few weeks, and she has not been able to leave the house except for doctor's appointments because of her bed rest. But I come to let you know how she just boldly put in the comment section, she just said, put one in for me. Our sister Natasha just said, put one in for me. So I don't know how many of y'all are bold enough and are comfortable enough doing so. But if you don't mind, can you join me on the wood just for about 30 seconds? Hey, can we put one in for sister Natasha? Can we put one in for her just because she asked? Can we praise God in the name of the Lord? Oh, praise him. 